Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In today's class, I'm just going to explain to you on the preparation of organic compound. And one of these organic compounds which I'm focusing on is an alkyl halide. Therefore, my major focus in today's class is on the preparation of alkyl halides. So there are so many ways in which alkyl halides can be prepared. The first way which we can talk about is halogenation. So when we talk of halogenation, this is whereby an hydrocarbon is being reacted with an halogen gas to produce an alkyl, um, alkyl halide. For example, let's say I had a hydrocarbon like RH, um, RH and this hydrocarbon is reacted with an alkyl gas which I can say X2 in the presence of heat and or light. So when this hydrocarbon is reacted with an halogen gas, it's going to produce an alkyl, an alkyl halide which is RH plus a hydro halide which is x h so this is the general formula or the general equation which you are going to have when you talk of halogenation of hydrocarbons let's quickly look at some few examples that we might have some interest in the first one i'll say let's say i have something like ch3 ch3 and this compound is reacted with a chlorine gas okay with a chlorine gas so when this reaction takes place you are likely to have an alkyl halide so let's quickly show this work using an equation so if i have ch3 ch3 and this ch3 is reacted with chlorine gas which is um CO2 in the presence of heat or light in the presence of heat or light we are likely to have CH3 CH2 bonded to chlorine plus the hydrochloride so this is an example of an halogenation of this um hydro carbon which in this case it is just ethane let me quickly give another example which we can talk about the the other example i can talk about let's say i have something like propane ch3 ch2 and then i have ch3 uh, so when this compound is reacted is reacted with bromine gas which can be br2 in the presence of heat or light so meaning this reaction can only take place when there is heat or light because this heat or light it helps in the breaking down or separating of br2 or any halogen gas so when this takes place you're going to find that a reaction will take place and an hydrogen will be displaced from, from this compound. So you have CH3, then you're going to have CH2, then you're going to have CH2 bonded to the what? To the, to the bromide, which is, um, which is an halogen. So in this case, this is how our equation will look like such that this will bond to BR, BR plus the hydro, hydro bromide, which is HBR. So this is another example in which this process can take place. Let me quickly give another example, which is uh, my last example on this part. The third one. Let's say I was to pick neopentane. 
So neopentane is a molecule that have this structure. Neopentane is just a molecule which has this structure. CH3, CH3. So when neopentane is reacted with let's say chlorine gas, so you have this, and then this neopentane is reacted with chlorine gas, which is Cl2, in the presence of heat or light. In the presence of heat or light. Okay. So when your pentane is reacted with this chlorine gas, you're going to have something like neopentyl chloride. So the product will be neopentyl what? chloride, which has this chemical formula CH3 and there you're going to have CH3 and then here you're going to have CH2 bonded to the to the chloride which is this guy there Cl and then plus hydrochloride so this is the result which you can have when you hide um halogenates the word the neopentyl so this is neopentane so this is neopentane and then this one the products is just simply neopentyl neopentyl chloride okay so that's neopentyl chloride okay so this is an example of halogenation of the um, hydrocarbon so let me quickly look at halogenation of alkanes. Let me quickly look at halogenation of alkanes. And this work can be represented using the chain reaction. So make sure that you know how to show your working or your chemical reaction using the chain reaction. Okay, so halogenation of alkanes and in this case we are simply talking about the chain uh, reaction okay the chain reaction so please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and also make sure that you register with excel academy so the chain reaction of our regulation of alkanes it is divided into three steps the first step is what we are calling the the chain initiation step so the first step is the chain initiation step in this initiation step an allergen is being subjected an allergen is being subjected to heat or light so that we can have two uh, elements of that particular halogen for example Let's say I was to get chlorine gas, and this chlorine gas, I had to subject it to heat, okay? I had to subject it to heat or light. So this is the initiation, to heat or light. So when this is being subjected to that, we are simply going to have uh, two chlorine atoms. And then remember, there is the seventh atom the seventh element which will take part in the reaction so in this case we are only showing the seventh electron of chlorine let me quickly illustrate this in this way so let's say i have cl and then there is a bond with another cl remember there are these particular electrons that are surrounding this um each of these atoms of chlorine so this this has one electron there there is one electron there and another electron there these two electrons are the one that are forming this particular bond which we have there so when these guys they are reacted when these guys they are exposed to heat or light you're going to have you're going to have two chlorine which is one chlorine is going to be one two three four five six and then the seventh electron plus another chlorine which is one two three four five six and the seventh 
electron so in this case what you're going to note that in this uh, equation i've written on top i'm not indicating these these electrons this one that one that one because they are not our area of interest instead i'm just illustrating that uh, part then when you look at where two is coming from you know this plus that it's giving you two um, atoms of chlorine so this is the initiation stage so the second stage which is um the chain elongation so in some books they'll say chain elongation uh, elongation okay elongation in some books they'll say chain propagation so there are two words that can be used on this one chain propagation and chain elongation okay so what's involved in chain elongation is this there are two stages or two steps that are involved so the first step is you are going to have the chlorine okay the chlorine atom which was formed in the initiation this chlorine atom will be exposed to what we can have let's say a methane or ethane or propane which is an example of an alkane so in my case i'll get a simpler um a simpler hydrocarbon which is methane but we can also use ethane okay so in this case when these two react this is what's going to happen remember at this point there is no heat or light the heat or light was used in the first step so in this case what will happen is this remember this guy remember we have cl like that plus what we are calling c then we have h there then we have h there we have that h there we also have that h there so this is what will happen in this reaction what will happen is that this chlorine here that one of the chlorine is going to react with one of the hydrogen okay so meaning the hydrogen will be displaced in this form which i am um, getting this guy so when this hydrogen is displaced meaning this guy will remain alone so in such a case you're going to have something like uh, a new compound has been formed has been formed which is cl and then plus remember this has been uh, affected the hydrogen has been removed so you're going to have something like ch3 with what ch3 with an e a pending electron with a pending electron in short if i was to show this in this form we are going to have something like c c um hcl plus c then there you have an h there you also have an h there you also have an h there and then a pending electron will remain because carbon need to um bond with uh four other molecules so this is about the the chain propagation so in the chain propagation the next step which will happen is that that chl or the methyl group which has been formed in this case which is um which is this guy this guy will be taken okay so this will form the second stage this guy will be taken okay when this guy is taken which is c h3 c h3 with an a pending electron there it's going to react okay it's going to react with what it's going to react with a chlorine gas it's going to react with a chlorine gas so when this guy react with a chlorine gas it's going to produce what we are going to have ch3 cl plus a chlorine uh, atom like that so at this stage at this stage which is the propagation stage this stage is producing this this guy there is random reaction random reactions taking place so at this stage you are going to have an alkyl halide plus that uh chlorine there even the other one you you if you observe you're going to find you're going to have an hydrochloride and also a what 
a methyl group there so this is the propagation but this reaction hasn't taken place why hasn't it taken place there are three possible molecules that can be formed in this reaction the first uh, possible molecule which can be formed is whereby this methyl group react with that uh, methyl group to produce what we are calling ethane or this methyl group will react with the chloride here to produce an alkyl um, an alkyl uh, halide or this chloride will react with another chlorine to to produce a chlorine gas so this is forming the termination part so this goes to the termination stage which is the third stage which we are going to say the chain the chain terminating step the chain terminating step so this is the last step so there are three possible there are three possible products you can have from that reaction the first product is whereby two chlorine atoms they combine and they go back to chlorine gas the other one which can be produced which is uh, let's say a, a methyl group which is c uh, ch2 ch3 with a an atom plus so with an electron plus a chloride with an electron they react together to produce um, ch3 three cl the other last product which can be produced from this reaction is uh, whereby let's say these guys decide to combine let's say ch3 with a a free electrons plus ch3 with a free electron to produce ethane so these are the three possible uh the possible product which you are likely to have on the termination part so if you look clearly you're going to find that in this reaction we have already uh, predicted the possibility of having an alkyl halide so this is another way which an alkyl halide can be formed um, using the halogenation process all right i hope you guys are following up and i hope you guys are understanding please make sure that you register with excel academy and make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel because excel academy will be giving away an iphone 7 128gb to any student who register with us for three consecutive months starting in january all right so let me quickly look at the other one which is the addition method okay so this is the addition of hydrogen halides to an alkene so addition of halogen or hydrogen hydrogen okay hydrogen halides halides to to an alkene okay an alkene so when you talk of an alkene an alkene it is just a hydrocarbon which has two double bonds which has at least two double bonds in it so for example an example of an alkene okay for example an example of an alkene i can talk about let's say ethene so let's say that has a double bond there and then you have h there you have h there you also have h there you also have h there so this is an example of an alkene so uh an example of halogen hydrogen halide hydrogen hydrogen halide okay an example of a hydrogen halide you can talk of um hcl which is hydro 
hydrogen chloride or you can talk of hydrogen bromide okay all right so in this case i'm going to give an example of a reaction in which um this takes place but before i do this let's quickly look at the general formula so in a case let's say i have ethene which is like that c and then there i have that bone there is also that bone there is also another bone there there is also another bone remember there is hydrogen 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 or there can be some other hydrocarbon so when this guy is reacted with hx remember x is for an halogen and also uh, h is for hydrogen so when this takes place this is what you are going to have you are going to have something like that see the bond will be broken the bond will be broken the double bond will be broken and then new bonds will be formed whereby an hydrogen will come in and an x will come in but there these uh, bonds will go like that so how did this take place that's a question so this this hydrogen it took part in the getting of one of the electron there because this bond is formed by two electrons so this hydrogen will go and react with that one electron and also the hyd halogen will also go and react with uh, one of these electrons and when they react this hydrogen will form that bond and that halogen will also form that bond so this is how the general formula of halogen uh, formation using addition of alkenes can be represented so let me look at an example a very good example that we can pick so let me get butene let me get butene i would have loved to use pentene or ethene but i'm going to go with butene so let's say i have c double bond there okay and then in this case we are going to have ch3 there and then you also have ch3 okay so this compound is simply known as 2 butene 2 butene why is it 2 butene you find that the double bond is on carbon number 2 because we have 1 2 3 4 so the double bond is on carbon number 2 remember there are two hydrogen bonds there is one hydrogen bond there and another hydrogen there all right so when this guy is reacted when this guy is reacted with an hydro um with let's say uh, we react this with hydrochloride which is like that so when these guys react they are going to produce chloro they are going to produce chloro uh, butane they are going to produce chlorobutane because this guy will react with one of the electron and that guy will also react with one of the electrons so this is how it's going to look like so the product will be let's say c there and there the bond will change to one bond and then there you're going to have ch3 there you also have ch3 and then in that case the hydrogen bond will maintain their bonding which is h there and then that one will uh, also maintain its uh, bonding there but one of these bonds will be broken down into two one will have an hydrogen there and another one will have a chlorine there so this is simply uh, an example of a alkyl halide which we can say to be two chloro two chloro butane two chloro butane so this is just another example of this 
reaction okay so um that's one of the examples i had for you so please make sure that you subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure that you also register with excel academy so let me quickly give a second example which is ethan let's say i have ethan there which is c there you also have c there and then you have hydrogen bond there you also have another hydrogen bond there and automatically there will be one hydrogen bond there and another hydrogen bond there plus let's say this reaction takes place in with h b r which hydrobutane so in this case if you look at h b r h b r is the same as h bonded with b r so this bond will be broken and it will react somewhere there so when you look at this this is what will be the product you're going to have c this double bond will turn into a single bond and then you're going to have another c there which is that one one of these bond will be separated so you're going to have a new bond formed with hydrogen and another new bond formed with bromide and then from there the the hydrogen bonds will maintain the the hydrogen and their bonds who will, will maintain their position and nothing will change to them so this is also another example that i can give you the other example we can talk of um addition of halogens to alkenes and alkynes so that's another way in which these um these halides can be formed so let me quickly look at that so this is the third method remember i've talked of addition of hydrogen halides to alkenes the other one i talked of is halogenation of alkenes and now the next one is whereby we are talking of addition addition of halogens okay addition of halogens okay to alkenes or alkynes so we can talk of alkynes we can also talk of alkenes okay so remember alkynes they have three double bonds in their structure so let me give an example of an alkyne so um this is alkene so let me quickly write the proper word alkynes so when you talk of alkynes they have three double bonds an example i can give is this one okay so let's say i have that and then automatically there will be one bond there there is also one bond there so because of these three bonds this is an alkyne this is an alkyne then alkene have already explained in my previous part whereby when you talk of alkenes when you talk of alkenes these guys they have two bonds in them so let's say i have that and then this is attached to uh let's say something like that and then we have an hydrogen bond there and also a nitrogen bond there so these are examples of our kinds so let me quickly look at examples of a reaction which is dealing with this okay so i'll quickly put examples okay so in this case i'll get a reaction between um an alkene okay between an alkene and an halide so alkene plus what halogen sorry halogen halogen okay so in this case let's say i'm going to get uh let's say c uh which is bonded to another c 
which is bonded to that mm -hmm. then there you have uh h there you have h there you also have another h there making them four and then here we can talk of uh this guy having an h there and this guy also having an h there making one two uh one two three four and then this one is automatically going to have an h there so when we get this compound which is an alkene when we react it with um when we react it with what we are calling an halide when we react it with an halide this is what we are simply going to have so this reaction let's say this alkene is reacted with chlorine okay chlorine gas so when this reaction takes place we are going to have c c and then there you're going to have c all right and then this one automatically this one will remain the same way it is with its edges and nothing will change from it and then this one is going to have its edge it had initially and this one also have its edge it had initially and that one will have its edge it had initially but this chlorine will now simply going to take the place of that one there and also the place of that one there so this is what will take place if at all uh, this alkene was reacted with a an halide such as proline okay so what is the general formula for these guys what is the general formula so for an alkene plus an halide the general formula is c that then you have that bond then there is that h there there is also that h there there is a there is an r group r group so you react it with an h2 which is simply a gas there okay so from there you're going to have something like c then there you're also going to have c of course this is an r group like i've said that's an r group and that's an r group so here this will go like that these h's will go like that and then there you're going to have an r group and then an x there and also an x there all right so from there we can now talk of our kings our kinds okay so when you talk of our kinds when you talk of our kinds plus an halogen our kinds plus an halogen okay so in this case let me quickly give you an example of what i'm trying to talk about so let's say i have c there and the one two three i have c there automatically i know there there will be one h there and there there will also be one h there so when this reaction is made to take place this is what going to happen so let's say i get bromine there okay bromine gas so what i'm going to have is this i'm going to have a c bonded with another c remember c bonded with another c then this h will maintain its place and that h will also maintain its place but because bromide is taking part in this reaction you're going to have those two bonds that bond and that bond they'll be broken and you're going to have a b arrow there then you're going to have a b arrow there then you also are going to have a b arrow there and that b arrow there now because we are having two bromide four bromide one two three four so meaning on this bromine gas we're just going to put a two to make them four of them so this is how this reaction takes place when you talk of alkenes so let me give the general formula of this reaction let me give 
the general formula of this reaction so let's say you have an R group there this R group is attached to those carbons and there is also an R group there okay so what we are going to observe in this reaction is when you pass it with 2x2 okay which is an halogen you're going to have something like an R group there and then you're going to have C then there are C and R group then there you're going to have X there you're going to have X there you're also going to have X and there you're going to have X so these X's are just symbolizing the they're just symbolizing the the halogen so guys like I said this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy and remember Excel Academy like I said we are giving an iPhone okay we're giving an iPhone 7 which is 128 GB to every student who is going to register with us for three consecutive months starting in January starting in January to uh, March starting in January to March any student who is going to register with us for these three months we are going to give they are qualified to be given this iPhone 7 we also have something like a 500 quarter which will be given to a student who is going to pass anatomy with 80% and above we also have 200 quacha to a student who is going to be the highest and they, are, they have to get 50% and above so ladies and gentlemen to get in touch with us you can simply uh, contact me on 0965887474 so those are my contacts you can whatsapp me and I'll add you to our groups so the next class i'm going to continue with the preparation of our q highlight instead of explaining this i'm going to explain on how you can prepare them using our cohorts thank you very much this was dr possibility from excel academy have a blessed day